Yo and what's up everyone? Um good day, lovely weather. Uh got some stuff going on today. So as you can see, desk is all ready. Um rear shocks to go on, rear springs and coils to go on. And then the car's coilovers, it's all done and dusted, and I can start driving it around, which I'm proper excited about. So for now, let's get to it. So as you guys know already, I've been working on getting the coilovers done for the car and right now I've got the fronts on, took a little bit of time but managed to get them done. So we just got to get the rears done now, much easier process is the reason why I left that to the end, it's because I know that the rears is so much easier in the fronts, the fronts you can always have complications in terms of getting the um, old shocks out of the actual shock housing. So with these. I've got new top mounts. Um, I actually had these from before for one of my old E36s. And from my research, I have found out that they are basically the same as the E30, which is good. Got my shocks, which I need to extend and get them prepped with the top mounts. And then we have the spring and the little coil. Now I'm going to set this at the bottom, I know you can actually remove these and just set the springs in there as it is, but I don't want it to be too low at the back and I think that should be enough of a raise for the rear of the car to um, not get too low down. So for now, for the time being, let's get the car rear end jacked up and then we can actually look at getting some work started. in the rear um, so, yeah. so in the rear convertible roof compartment that's where you get access hope you guys remember me mentioning that to you in the previous video so took off the rubber um, seals now I just need to loosen those bolts up so we can get the rest of it started boom got those four bolts loose um, I thought it's easier if I break them loose while the car still got pressure and weight and everything. Now I'm just going to jack the car up, get it raised up so I can undo the last bolt at the bottom. And then basically, um, so yeah, jack the car up, move the wheels, put it on axle stands and move the last bolt. That's it. <laughs> it's so simple to do the rears. So... Yeah, it's gonna get those done now. Let's see how it goes. So now I've got the car jacked up. It's just the one bolt behind there, behind the shock, and the two bolts up at the top. Now, I'm trying to think which bolts are best to take off first, whether it's best to do the top two and then do the bottom one at the end, or do the bottom one and then the top two, um, and just let it drop out. And I'm thinking you might be better off doing the top two and then the bottom one. I'm gonna try it one side, um, each way and the reason why I'm thinking do the top two then the bottom one is then it doesn't just drop down you know you get to reduce that element of it just falling down or anything unless you got someone else to ready to catch it I think that's probably the best way around everything so put the camera back where it is the phone um, that's what I'm gonna do now so 
Let's see how it all goes. I ended up using my uh, spring compressors and I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I would've been able to do it without them because it was properly wedged in there. So, it was good fun. So I just gotta, gotta quickly undo these and then we can go about everything else from there. So for now, peace. Clear the before and after. So you can see old spring, new spring. That's a lot lower. <laughs> um, yeah, but obviously I'm guessing that compresses a lot more. This was not gonna compress as much, and plus obviously it's gonna be sitting on the uh, the little coil, coil everything. So that's another example. But yeah, old versus new rear springs. Shocks fully extended. You've got the um, top mount just here. You got one. Uh, washer just there another washer just at the top that basically covers over the top man and then you've got the actual nuts these are 17 mil so I'm just gonna slot one of them in into the car put the spring in afterwards because um, you need to because the springs are shorter it will fall out if you put the spring in and then just not do anything so you need to put the shock in get it kind of ready put the spring in get that bit ready as well and then you can about everything there so I did actually um, I did actually remove the um, anti-roll bar push it um, anti-roll bar what's it called man anti-roll bar bolt that basically goes onto the rear wishbone so that it allows it to um, sweep down a little bit extra so I've got to put that one on first then put the shock in then put the springs in and then one side's done it should be fine, I don't, I don't think you need it, but you know, just come back for one session. Uh, just before I'm about to go, it goes here, yeah, so uh, two more sessions and you should be fine. <laughs> so guys, just got it out of the garage. I think I got a little bit of work to do because although this side looks really good at the back. Oh, got the filler cap open. This side's uh very low. Rubbing the arches a lot. Um don't know why, because they're both at the lowest setting, this side's lower than the other. Um I think the front's also the same situation, so it's gonna take it out for a quick little drive. See how it goes. So guys, lowering the car didn't go fully to plan. Um, because it's rubbing, rubbing so much that it basically, it, I don't like my cars rubbing that much when I'm trying to drive it around and also it's out of displacement from the front. So I'm going to raise the rears up a little and then we can look into taking the car out for a test drive. Um, I think the arches have been rolled previously because they don't feel as flat as what I thought it would but then again I don't know what standard ones are like so I've got to get on with um, remove well jacking the car back up removing the wheels and everything and see how it goes in terms of raising the the springs I'm probably going to go for about 20 mil say actually no a 15 mil I think 15 mil would raise it up enough but then again I, th I think maybe actually 20 mil because i do want the springs to get the compression and everything like that from driving and to go down to their actual ride height um because uh, brand new stuff it's not yet into what it will be so you have to be like that it's the first time i've actually ever installed coilovers to a car so it's a, a nice new little thing for me so Gonna carry on jacking the car up and everything. See you guys in the bizzle. That's it. Wider right height's been changed and hold up. Right. Let me skip that. That's it guys. Ride height has been changed. This is the new ride height for the rear. Got enough clearance there. Um still I, I want the front to be lower, that's for sure. But I'm not sure how much lower because the roads around us here not the best 
don't want my sump or anything like that constantly hitting the ground but this is a massive improvement from what it was before the rear looks good the front still yeah it does need lowering but i got to drive it around now got to get the actual suspension settled in so we'll see how it goes so uh, need to shower up get ready and then we'll get get the car out get it out on the roads it's sunny today so it's good it's good for uh, british weather especially in uh, october can't really complain so yeah hi everyone this is a fun day um so trying to fix well i don't know i don't know if fix is the right word trying to sort out the rubbing that's happening on only the driver's side um i think it's probably because i sat on this side and obviously the the weight of the car is a bit more leaned over here but it keeps rubbing on this arch so what i'm going to look at doing is um it's actually had the arches rolled already so I'm just gonna look at extending that well not extending adding to that um, so that it's rolled a little bit more and then taken out for test drive again seeing what it's like if it is fixing the issue then I'll probably look at doing the same on the other side if not I got the M3 arches to go on anyway so I'll probably end up doing some chopping up ideally I don't want to because I don't know rather leave that for someone else to do with anything but yeah for the time being we'll see how it goes fun times